tools like what I'm about to show you are going to completely change game development. And if you are a game developer, I really think you should subscribe to this channel because the stuff I'm going to show you here isn't even the craziest thing that I'm going to be covering in my next videos. Today, we're going to be talking about two tools. We're going to be talking about a AI-powered level generation system for Unreal Engine 5 where you can type in the level that you want and it will do everything. It will create the landscape, it will create the foliage, it will place the buildings and the assets. It will do almost everything and all you have to do is give it a single drawing of a top-down view of what you want it to create generally and it will create an entire multi-kilometer level based off of that drawing or if you don't even want to make the drawing it can generate a drawing for you and then create a entire level based off of that drawing that it makes as well so i mean 100 percent level generation using ai for unreal engine the other tool that i want to talk about is a plugin for unreal engine that currently has the ability to help you develop games. You put it in Unreal Engine 5 and it has access to your code base and it will tell you what to change. It will tell you what to do. It can read your blueprint code and actually tell you how to fix blueprints. But furthermore, in the coming months, they are going to be adding functionality that will allow it to actually generate blueprint code inside of your game. Not too different from existing tools right now like Cursor or Windsurf in the same way that those generate code and manage your project files for non-Unreal Engine projects. This plugin for Unreal Engine will do that but inside of Unreal Engine. It can create folders, create files, it can reorganize your project, it will be able to generate blueprint code and a lot more and I'm going to show you some of the things that it can do even right now such as generating models inside of Unreal Engine based on anything you want. You want a destroyed car in order to put inside of your game? Well, tell it you want a destroyed car and it will generate that. No buying marketplace assets, no having to go and download models from the internet. It will literally generate an entire model for you inside of Unreal Engine right then, right there. Now, don't get me wrong, the models that it generates are still AI generated and have some issues, but when it comes to filling out a scene with placeholder content, so you can at least like understand what you are going to be building, that's an invaluable tool. And I would actually say there are a couple of things you could probably have it generate, simple things that, who knows, maybe you actually could use in your game. I hope you guys enjoy this content. I hope this is valuable to you. If you guys want to learn more about how to use these tools in order to make games, definitely go sign up on my website. Link is down in the description and in the comments. The first tool we are going to be talking about is SibEver or CybEver. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this yet, but what this is, is a system that will generate entire levels for you. And honestly, procedural level generation inside of Unreal Engine is nothing new. I mean, even when you look at something like No Man's Sky, even though that's not Unreal Engine, but the procedural generation content is the same premise. Having millions and millions of worlds is nothing new, which is crazy that I can actually say that. When you look at Star Citizen, when you look at games like Elite Dangerous, although Star Citizen, I don't know how many worlds Star Citizen has, but Elite Dangerous definitely has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of worlds, and you can go to all of them. But the main problem with those is it's a mile wide, or in this case, a galaxy wide, and an inch deep, where there's a lot of procedural generation, but the things that you can do inside of those worlds is fairly simplistic. I mean, if you look at something like Starfield, I would say that is the best effort to create procedural generation for lots and lots of planets that still have compelling narratives and storylines, but you can still feel the story elements, the depth kind of get sucked away when you start having massive procedural generation on that kind of a scale. Well, Cybever might be an AI solution to that problem. This is a system that 
doesn't use AI necessarily to actually create the entire level. What the AI does is the AI creates the procedural generation system, and then the procedural generation system can create the entire level, which means that the AI might be able to actually guide procedural generation at a massive scale, who knows, maybe even at scales like No Man's Sky, where you can still go to a billion planets, but when you go to those planets, there is actually more depth, where there is actually more interesting features that you can interact with, utilize. Now, whether those features are going to have the same problems as the AI-generated models that the other tool I'm going to be showing you creates, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But Cybe Ever is a very compelling showcase of how you can use AI technology in order to improve upon existing procedurally generating tools that Unreal Engine has, but just make those tools better. And I think that this is going to have a real impact on the industry. Having the ability to instantly generate a multi-kilometer level based off of something as simple as a drawing, that's going to be absolutely massive. And if you want to go and check this out, Links are going to be down in the description, and you can go sign up for their beta. The next tool that I want to be talking about is a tool called Ludus AI. Now, Ludus AI is pretty cool, and I've already been talking a lot with the founder of this project and talking to him about the future of what he wants to create. Right now, it is fairly simplistic. You can install it as a plugin to your project, and you can actually talk with it inside of your project. And long term, you will actually be able to train it on your project so that way it's not going to just give you generic Unreal Engine advice. It's actually going to have an understanding of the game that you are trying to make and how you are trying to make it and it will be able to work with you just like having a co-developer but a co-developer that actually understands your project and it can give you suggestions. It can even potentially create code for you in the future, although that's not a feature that they've unlocked yet. Although I have been talking with him and it's something that they already have internally that it can do. They just haven't opened that up. But some of the things that they have released that it has the ability to do right now is generating content inside of the game. So it does actually have access to your project files and it can do some things like adding in new meshes. And I assume that they're only going to expand on this functionality in the future. And in the Project Ascension Discord server, which if you want to join, links are down below, we experimented with this a lot. And I have to say, it was way more fun and way more compelling than we thought it was even going to be. When we asked it to generate models, we thought it was going to do a not great job. But I was really surprised that it was actually creating really good models. Now, when I say really good, that is um, very much relative because compared to a full-blown artist who has the ability to create these from scratch, no, it's not even close. But when it comes to creating something that actually looks good enough to put in a scene, at least for a placeholder, I mean, it was able to create that. Now, what does this mean for game development? I'm not going to lie. AI is going to have a massive fundamental impact on the entire game development industry. And I think that you are going to, here soon, have one to two man teams that are going to be able to create games that used to require an entire 30 to 40 man fully funded team. That is where I think things are going. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Well, I would say when you look throughout the history of humanity, whenever you have levels of saturation like this, eventually it turns into a good thing. Although in the beginning, you're always going to have people complaining. But I would say long term, the ability for more people to create higher quality products more easily ultimately can only be for the better, even if there are some short-term pain points. As far as projects like Sib Ever and Ludus AI, 
I don't really see Sib ever replacing artists in the same way that I don't see No Man's Sky and their billions and billions of planets replacing level designers. I think that this is an incredible tool, and I think that teams will learn how to use this in ways that are creative and interesting. And the same with Ludus AI. I think Ludus AI, more than anything, is probably one of the best ways to learn Unreal Engine right now. And with AI being utilized as a learning tool, I think that is the most effective application for a lot of these different technologies when it comes to thinking about the best impact they could have, the most positive impact that they can have. I think education and teaching people is absolutely the best thing that AI can do really, really well. That is just obviously a straightforward benefit to humanity. So I really highly suggest if you are interested in learning Unreal Engine, go and download Ludus AI, download Unreal Engine 5, install it, and just talk to it every day. Talk to it about what you're making. Show it what you're making. It will teach you about how to create blueprints. It will teach you how to build your project. And it will be sitting there as an assistant, helping you learn every day. Even people who have no development experience at all in the past, this AI is your way to start learning how to create games, even if you've never created a game before. I think that that is going to be incredibly valuable. And yes, is that going to result in even more people creating more games and flooding the market? I mean, yes, but this is one of the reasons that I said many weeks ago, many months ago, that I think when we think about the impact that AI is going to have, when we think about any industry becoming saturated, I think at that point, you really need to change your perspective. When it gets to a point where there are so many of one thing that that one thing starts to lose its value, you have to think about what still has value. And that is actually something that we are doing in the Project Ascension community. So if you wanna join, I definitely think you should come hang out there. Not only are we working on developing video games, but we're also working on developing software, developing AI that can be utilized for good things that really nobody can get enough of. When you think about education, when you think about even things like energy production, food production, stuff like that, you can never have enough of those things. And when I think about using AI for the benefit of humanity, the first thing I think about, which is crazy, is games like Factorio. If you guys have ever played Factorio, Factorio is basically a simulation on how to create logistical chains to mine resources, to produce goods. I think games like that are, in a way, almost testing grounds for creating even more powerful solutions to some of the world's problems. When you look at games like Space Engineers, when you look at games like Satisfactory, I mean, when you look at games like Microsoft Flight Simulator, games for education, games that help people learn how to solve problems, I think are going to start becoming extremely valuable. Simulation games that you can use with AI to prototype solutions and create solutions to real world problems. That's what I'm really, really interested in going forward. And with more people knowing how to get into game development, I think that those kinds of games are going to start being more valuable. Because, I mean, making other types of games that don't really help to solve problems or don't help people learn, they're just not gonna be as important. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you guys have any opinions on this, please let me know down in the comments. If there is any technology you think I should be covering, please also tell me about it in the comments. I love talking with you guys. There's more technology out there than I think any one person has the ability to explore and use. So we, as a community, searching and testing out all of these systems, it's really going to be the only way for us to get a good idea of everything that's out there fast enough because, I mean, this technology is progressing so quickly. By the time I even have enough time to use one tool, there's like 10 more that have come out. So it really is a team effort. I really appreciate you guys going out there and trying all of these things as well please keep letting me know how that experience is going and if you want to see my next video make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on notifications and worst case scenario i'll see you in the next video cheers